Today we are going to start the experiment diffraction grating. The aim of the experiment is measurement of wavelength of laser source using diffraction grating element. The experimental setup can be shown here. So this is the laser source and this is the diffraction grating element and on the other side this is nothing but the screen. So this the diagram we can show here. The laser source, this is the diffraction grating element and coming to the other side, so this is nothing but the screen. Now coming to the diffraction grating element, so we can observe at the center there is a transparent region, so it is made up of cords or, or the glass. So there are around 500 lines are there that is the grating constant which is mentioned is 500 lines per inch. So in one inch 500 lines are there that is the grating constant. So this we are supposed to keep in between the laser source and the respective the screen where on the screen we have attached a graph sheet. So this is the experimental setup, the laser source and the grating. Now the distance between the grating and the screen we are supposed to adjust. So with the help of the scale from the center of the grating to the screen so which is around 1 meter that is the 100 centimeter distance we have maintained between the grating and the screen next so we can observe the red light the laser source is coming out so that falls on the diffraction grating element and the diffraction patterns are produced so those diffraction patterns uh, can be observed on the screen. The diffraction pattern is such a way that at the central, central maxima will be there. On either side, the first order, second order and up to fourth order, the diffraction pattern can be observed. So if you just observe carefully, this is central maxima, then first order, second order, third and fourth. Similarly, first order, second order, third order, fourth order on either side we are okay we observe clearly now with the help of the pencil make the marking likewise on the dot central maxima one okay we have to make marking with pencil similarly on either side to a right side first order, second order, third order, fourth order similarly to the left side, first order, second order, third order and fourth order, we have to make the marking with the pencil. After marking, we have to take out the graph sheet and we have to join all the points and mark the distance between first orders. So this we can observe here. So those points which we have marked, they are clearly visible here. This is the central maxima, then first order, second order, third order, fourth order on right side and similarly 1, 2, 3, 4 on the left side. So totally 9 points we have to make marking on the graph sheet, take out, join all them and the distance between the first order is measured and in our case it is uh, found to be 2.7 centimeter similarly the distance between second order is 5.4 centimeter and the distance between the third order is 8 centimeter and the for the fourth order it is 10.7 centimeter so these values we are going to enter in our tabular column now those values are 
entered in the tabular column the values which you have that is the distance between the two x and order that is first order second order third order fourth order the order the corresponding values are entered from the graph now xn is half of that one that we have written then we have to find the theta is equal to tan inverse of xn by d for the first one if it is 2.7 cm half of that one is 1.35 so theta is going to be 0.7734 then we have to find sin of that one it is a 0.1349 then we have to find the lambda the wavelength of the given laser source that is d sin theta n by n where n is the order for first value the for first calculation the value of n is 1 for second n is 2 similarly 3 and 4 it will be and this d so this coming to the this this is nothing but the grating constant so that we can analyze here so the diffraction grating the element what we have taken on that it is clearly written that the number of lines per inch lpi is equal to 500 so 500 lines are there so this is in inch now converting this into centimeter that is nothing but the grating constant d small d is equal to 2.54 divided by n it means in one inch 2.54 centimeter is there therefore while converting from inch to centimeter it will be 2.54 divided by n that is 2.54 divided by 500 so it comes to be 5.08 to the power minus 3 centimeter so this is the grating constant so that value we are going to substitute in this equation and if we just calculate it comes to be 6857.34 centimeter so the answer it comes in centimeter that we have to convert it into angstrom we know that 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter so taking this factor into consideration so whatever the answer it comes it is in centimeter so that we have to convert into angstrom so it comes to be 6857.34 angstrom similarly for the second order we have to calculate and here the value of n is 2 similarly for 3 and 4 we have to calculate put the value n is equal to 3 and 4 respectively and if you just calculate one example we have taken so these are this is the value what we are coming so this is for the distance 100 centimeter now the distance between the grating and the screen is increased by another 50 centimeter that is for 150 centimeter so another for 150 centimeter we have to put once again the graph sheet and once again make the marking here up to fourth order and uh, the same the calculation we have to carry out and at the end we have to find out once again the wavelength and get mean of all those.